All right, here we go, guys. Two-minute history on the Roman Emperor Diocletian. One of the most important guys most of my students have never heard of about. He ruled from 284 to 305 after what we call the crisis of the third century. This is a time in the Roman Empire where there was a big mess, a lot of problems, and very hard to administrate a huge empire. So when he comes in, he makes several reforms, one of which is called the Tetrarchy. The Tetrarchy, which means rule of four. And instead of one guy governing and administrating all of the Roman Empire sitting in Rome, you have four people, an Augustus in the east, an Augustus in the west, a Caesar in the east, a Caesar in the west, and these four govern and administrate Rome. What's interesting is Diocletian chooses to be in the east, which shows us the shift of power in the Roman world from the west to the east. It's also going to be a very important precedent later on when you talk about the fall of Rome, the fall of Rome in the west, not the east. So we're seeing kind of the split east and west. So that's going to have very long term implications. He also brings in military reforms that have huge implications because one of the things Diocletian will do is open up the Roman military to the Germanic peoples. And these Germanic peoples, of course, come in and serve in the Roman military, but they're also bringing in their values, their language, their culture. And if you know about the fall of Rome eventually in the West, it's not that it happens overnight. It's gradually the West stops being Rome and starts being more Germanic. Um, and this is something we cover in a lot of detail when you talk about the fall of Rome. And another really important thing that happened during Diocletian is his persecution of Christians. He passed edicts, which called for making it illegal for Christians to meet, uh, for scriptures to be confiscated, um, and even places of worship to be destroyed. It's interesting, some of the stuff was enforced, some of it wasn't, and if you know a lot more about what happens after Diocletian, Christianity is about to take off in the Roman Empire, but he was one of the few last emperors to try to persecute the Christians. So there's a lot more to this, but of course, that's just a quick little two minute. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you and have a great day.